Have you ever thought about powering your Raspberry Pi from a rig runner or a Bioeno or any type of power pole 12 volt adapter? This thing is really cool. Check it out. Ham Radio 2.0 reviews news and how to's of things that are new in ham radio. I met Jason, the owner of RPC Electronics. I met him at the Tapper event last September, October in uh, 2022. And he did a presentation on some APRS stuff, but he was in the show and tell room. He had this device and several other devices also. You might be seeing a few more things upcoming on this channel, but this was really cool. This is a Pi Hat that sits on top of your Raspberry Pi. This one's specifically made for a Pi 3. I'm gonna talk about a Pi 4 here in just a minute. This is a Pi Hat, sits on top of your Raspberry Pi and it changes it from a five volt to a 12 volt input so that you can plug it into a rig runner or a, or a distribution block or directly into a BioNO maybe. And you can run your Raspberry Pi from a 12 volt system. So let's take a look at this over here. Watch till the end of the video today for a secret word that I want you to put in the comments. That way I know you watch to the end of the video. Let's go. So this is the kit. This is how the kit comes with these two items here. This item here and this item here. It's got standoffs on it. It's got a connection on it. And it's got these screws to, to uh, connect it to a hat. Now, the, it does not come with this 3D printed case. And um, I'm grateful to Kyle, AA0Z, who printed this case for me. The plans for this 3D case are on... RPC Electronics' website, and I will share the link to that in the description below. But I don't have a 3D printer set up at this point in time, so I took the plans and I sent them to Kyle and I said, hey, would you mind printing this for me? And he was gracious, gracious enough to print this for me and send it to me for no charge. So thank you, Kyle, AA0Z. Check out his channel when you get a chance. He hosts a trivia live stream every month that, that's fun to watch. So you can see this right here. This is, of course, a Raspberry Pi 3. You can tell it's a Pi 3 because it doesn't have the blue USB, the two USB-A ports in blue, which are USB 3.0. This is a Pi 4 board. This is a Pi 3 board. Another way to tell is that the Pi 4 board is powered via USB-C, and the Pi 3 board is powered via micro USB. We'll get to that here in a minute. So this is what it looks like enclosed in the case. It sits over here on the side right above the Ethernet port. Okay, and I've got a couple of hotspots that I took apart that I'm like, you know what, like um, MMDVM hotspots for to do DMR and DSTAR stuff. And a couple of them have a board that sit over here on this side. So I think you could probably with some boards, with some MMDVM boards, you could set them on top of this this riser here that sits on top of riser. There's a name for this. I forget what it is. You technical guys will correct me in the comments, I'm sure. But there's a Pi hat that sits here from MMDVM board, and I think there's room to put it in here along with this. So more to come on that later. I might do some more stuff with this in the future. But right now, this one is, this board here is the Pi that's been running my 220 megahertz all-star radio, the, the Linko 220 radio in the shack that I have right there. It's powered down right now. I've been needing to re-image that. I, I was having some problems. I, I did some updates with it and it just wasn't working right. Sometimes it wouldn't pick up a signal. So I need to re-image that anyway. So I'm going to take this uh, micro SD card and re-image it and whatnot. And I thought, what a great opportunity to go ahead. And since I got to take it apart anyway, I'll go ahead and put this thing together with it. So a couple of quick notes on it. Let's uh, let's take a look at the website over here. I will link this in the description below. This is rpc-electronics.com. He calls this a Raspberry Pi 2 and 3 switching power supply. So it works for Pi 2 also. Um, a full-size Pi 2, not a Pi 0, but a full-size Pi. I, I don't think it'll work for Pi 0, but don't quote me on that. He says Pi 2 and 3, so just take that at its worth. Raspberry Pi 2 and 3 switching power supply gives your Pi flexibility to be powered by any of the DC power source from 8 to 30 volts direct current. No adapters, no external regulators or additional cables or fragile connectors. Output is a steady 5 volt DC at 3 amps. Perfect for mobile in-vehicle applications where 12 to 14 volt DC is readily available. And that's exactly what I'm going to do with mine. This is my Sherry node here. And I'm going to take my Sherry node, which is running on a Pi 4, and I'm going to show that to you here in just a second. My plan from day one has been to take this Sherry node and put it in the truck and leave it there. I want it there running 100% of the time, and that's going to be part of my truck install. So I'll get to that in a minute. But this is what it looks like kind of outside of the, the case. I've got mine in the case. It was kind of a bear to get it into this case properly. <laughs> it, was, it was not fun to get it into this case properly. And the screws that come with this Pi hat with the, with the switching power supply are not 
there's screws to put the, the, the power supply on top of the pie, but there's not enough screws to put it in the case, so I had to improvise a little bit. I'll talk about that more later as well. So this is what it looks like here. This is the unit by itself. That's what it looks like on top of the pie. That's the unit there by itself. Oh, there's one right there with a, um, instead of power poles, he's got one with screw down connectors. So that's kind of cool. This right here is what, this is right here is a good picture of the kit that comes with it. It comes with this standoff. So it holds it on one corner, comes with the washer, a nut, and a bolt to go through it. So the standoff has, has is threaded on both ends. It has a uh, a shaft coming out of the bottom, and it has a threaded insert coming out of the top. So the, the, the screw on the top screws into the standoff, and then the standoff is secured with a nut and a washer on the bottom. And that's kind of what it looks like. In fact, there's an example, MMDVM digital voice modem with his switching power supply. So there you go. There you go. I just kind of like, I didn't even look that up. That's in N5BOC. I've got one of those. Ooh, there's another video. That's what we're doing next. When he gave this to me, I was going to do this video earlier. And the reason I haven't got to it yet is because my... Sherry node is a Pi, Pi, uh, Pi 4 board. It's, I've, I've got this Pi 4, I've got this Pi 4, and I've got this Pi 4. I've got two extra Pi 4 boards here. If anyone wants to trade for a Flex Radio 6600 or an ICOM IC7610, I will trade you these two Raspberry Pi 4 boards for one of those radios. Okay, no lowballing. I know what I've got. Moving on. <laughs> Have you seen that commercial, that meme with the gas can sitting in it? Yeah, okay. Anyway, moving on. So this video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. If you are a maker, a tinkerer, or a ham radio kit designer, and you haven't checked out PCBWay, you could be missing out. They obviously produce full-featured printed circuit boards, including flexible circuit boards with tons of materials and options. Now they offer basically everything you need to turn your ideas into reality, which includes 3D printing, injection molding, CNC manufacturing, or just plain old PCB board manufacturing. They do it all for competitive prices. Check out the link in the description below to support this channel, and thank you, PCB Way. So this is the kit that comes with it. I'm going to move this out of the way. This is this is what the kit, the complete kit, kit comes with. This kit sells for $32 at the time of this recording, which is not bad at all. Okay, so there's your standoffs. This guy right here is what connects the Raspberry Pi 3 to the switching power supply. And you can see they're both micro USB connectors. So I spoke to Jason, the owner of this company, and he and I said, do you have one because when I got, he sent these to me after the Tapper conference, and I was very gracious, very grateful to get two of these from him. Thank you very much to RPC Electronics for sending these over. I really like these, and I might, and I'm planning to get some more stuff from him soon. In fact, we might do a live stream with him one day. This right here is USB micro to micro, okay? And I asked him, do you have one that's micro to USB-C to power a Raspberry Pi 4 board? Like what is right here because this won't fit into a raspberry pi 4 he's having a hard time finding this board that will allow you to mount a, a usb c connector vertically off of that board perpendicular from that board okay so this is the part that he's having trouble finding is a board that will allow this is obviously these are mounted perp perpendicularly is that a, is that a word these are mounted vertically off the board in in uh Opposite polarization. There you go. You should understand that. This is a horizontal polarization. This is a vertical polarization. Hi, hi. There you go. So this is a micro connector and a micro connector, and he's having trouble finding it. So that's why he doesn't make that yet. But what he said was, I can use cable. This is a decent quality gold-tipped cable that I got from Amazon. It's just a regular old cable. So I'm going to show you what it looks like here. So let's zoom back out a, a touch. Okay, so let's put this together real quick. because, And I already did this with the Pi 3. And I want to do it with my Pi 4, because the Pi 4 is what the Sherry's running on, like I said. And we're going to go... Okay, so it goes this way. And the way you can tell that it goes this way, okay, is because the mounting holes in the power supply are on this side. And, of course, it's going to point towards the same side of the Pi board that the USB and the Ethernet ports point. Okay, it's, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna point backwards like that. It's gonna point this way. So these will get lined up with the holes in the Pi right here. So what we do is we take these standoffs like this. Okay. And we put, we follow the instructions that were on that website we just looked at. And now we stand that here. It's a little bit tight of a connection, but it's fine. Okay, so now 
I've got this mounted here. I've got the screws in the top, as the picture on the website dictated, the standoffs, the lock washers, and the nut on the bottom of each standoff. And that's what it looks like right there. So now I can take my cable. And now if I had another Raspberry Pi case, I'd be putting this in the Raspberry Pi case right now, but I don't have another one at this point in time. So I'm going to hit up Kyle and ask him if he'll build me another one. <laughs> He's very gracious like that. Kyle's a great dude. So if I ever put together my own ras uh, 3D printer, maybe I'll do some of that soon. So that goes in there like that. I need to tighten down these screws. I don't have my nut driver with me, but I will do that shortly. There. Just like that. Okay. Now that's a little bit intrusive. I mean, that's a little bit cumbersome maybe, depending on where you might want to mount it. Uh, you certainly don't want that getting caught on things. And, and RPC Electronics, they are looking for a standoff like this that will fit micro to... USB-C, but like I said, he's having a hard time finding that. So we're gonna use this temporarily, and that's gonna be mounted there. And now I'm gonna power this up and see you guys let, uh, let you guys see it run, so. All right, I got my BioWeno battery. So you can see the BioWeno battery is sitting at about 14.1 volts right now. There's no, there's no watts coming out of the load, and there's no amps coming into the source. So there's nothing charging the battery right now, which is, you know, the way it should be when you're using it. So we're gonna plug this in now, and I'm just gonna, obviously we won't leave it like this. This is just a demonstration. Plug that in, and you can see the lights come on on the Pi, right there, and on the ethernet port back there. And now you can see it's using about 2.6, 2.8 watts right there. It's feeding it 14 volts, the Pi is running. And depending on what this meter is running, these, these meters aren't highly accurate. This one's a PowerWorks meter, so it, it, it does pretty well. But it looks like it's drawing about 0 0.2 amps right now. So that's, that's, that's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. So this 0 0.2 amps, this is a 15 amp hour battery from BioWeno. So 15 times 4 is 60. This, this, this battery will run this thing for 60 hours. <laughs> so... You know, now if you have a if you have an MMDVM hat on this side where it's transmitting that uh, uh, once it keys down, it is very low power output MMDVM boards. They are several hundred milliwatts, or you know maybe less than a hundred milliwatts in some cases. So that is going to certainly play a factor. But even though it transmits, it may draw a little bit more power. But the way this sits right now, this is not this is hardly anything at all. So this is this is pretty cool. I really like this thing. I appreciate Jason over at RPC Electronics allowing me to, you know, sending me this and allowing me to do a video about it. You guys let me know in the comments below if you think you would like to get Jason onto a live stream and interview him at a, about all the other products he's got because he's got a lot of other things on his website, which you can see right here. We just go to the homepage here. He's working on coming soon a GPS stick USB GPS module. GPS stick. USB GPS module, okay. He's got, if you go to the top here, he's got guitar pedal items. You guys can't see the drop down. Yeah, you can. There it is. Guitar pedal, model railroad. I know a few of you ham radio nerds are model railroad nerds also, so that's cool. <laughs> Data power uh, products, electronics, CNC control, this kind of thing. So a lot of really cool and innovative stuff here. And I'm happy that, again, that he's sent these to me to, to do a video with. Uh, but I'm looking forward to see what else he's got too. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know what other items you would like to see. Hey, if you get one of these, what are you going to put it on? If you get one of these and attach it to a Raspberry Pi, what are you going to use that Raspberry Pi for? You're going to take it out to a POTA and plug in a Raspberry Pi and let it power your Build-A-Pi script on it and run hammers and some other ham radio type apps on it. What are you going to use it for? The word of today is power. Power is the word of the day today. So put power in the comments below. That way I know you watch till the end of the video. And check out these videos over here on uh, the right-hand side of your screen for more interesting topics in amateur radio today. 73.